sitting here in my car waiting for my little one to finish school and I wanted to jump on quickly just to touch on a topic that I think is being missed within not only the functional medicine industry but uh, medicine in general and this includes specialists. I, in my intake form, it's pretty lengthy. It's like 14 pages of all of your health history and all of the questions and everything else. And two of the little areas that I have are regarding your medications. So it is a question that asks you to list all of the medications that you are currently on, including their dosages, as well as medications you have previously been on within the last year. So if you were on an antibiotic, you're not on it now, I still need to know that you were on it. So any medications in the past year, um, I ask people about being on antibiotics within their lifetime, if they have had excessive amounts and we have parameters for that. And then I ask them about supplements. And what I've noticed within my own clinical practice is that patients tend to be less than forthcoming with their cannabis therapy. So if somebody is taking say an oil that is a one-to-one -one, CBD THC, sometimes they don't want to put it down on paper, but they will discuss it with me during their session. I've also noticed that people are a lot more okay with putting down CBD, but they don't think about it because they don't consider CBD to be a supplement the same as they would not necessarily I mean they'll write under medications you know I take Advil for period pains you know one or two times a month or I take Tylenol for a headache or whatever the case may be so maybe they'll list CBD there depending on what they're taking it for now I know that a lot of specialists that I deal with depending on their wheelhouse will actually ask now about cannabis use which I also now have a specific place in my form that says, do you use cannabis therapy? If yes, please describe, is it an oil? Do you vape? What is your dosage? Is it CBD, THC? Is it full spectrum? I ask the question and they can just check off the boxes they think apply. And then on the bottom, they have room to give more details because maybe they're doing something for, you know, nighttime for sleep and it's a one-to-one -one liquid, but during the day, maybe they're taking a CBD oil and it's just straight up CBD. So I like to gather as much information as possible because it does actually have to do with what I'm doing in clinic. Now, here's something that I'm noticing. A lot of doctors out there are not asking about this. Okay, fine. I understand that a lot of uh, those that are in the medical world, like myself, you're either going to be on the integrative side or the allopathic side. And a lot of the allopathic side is trying to catch up, but maybe they don't have the training. Some doctors just don't want to touch it. And that's great that you don't want to touch it because you're still going by a stigma, which shows you're ignorant but that's on you. You do need to understand cannabis if you're in the medical industry of any kind because your patients are gonna be on it. You might think that you don't deal with that type of a clientele, but here's the thing, we are all that type of a clientele. I don't smoke because I can't handle THC. But what if I smoke CBD? What if I vape CBD? Because there are plenty of profiles out there that are really high CBD and are, you know, they're not boasting a high THC profile. So what if I'm one of those? Are you gonna count me out too? You, you know, I've had patients that say, oh, you know, my doctor doesn't really, he doesn't really agree with it. So I don't really tell him that I'm, I'm using it. And I'm like, wait a second, well, what are you using? Oh, I use a CBD oil capsule and I take it for my digestive issues. And I'm like, why is your doctor so against? It's straight up CBD. What's your doctor got to be against? There's no psychoactive properties to this. So there's still this negative connotation that goes with it. And it's coming from the medical field. They're feeding into this stigma and it's ignorance because medicine is medicine. It doesn't matter if you're taking Advil or Tylenol or you're taking a Gravol or you're, it doesn't matter what you're taking. You're, you need to know what your patients are taking. Um, and as far as specialists go, it's also very important to inform, even if you're going to go see for example, your plastic surgeon or your dermatologist to, or, or your nurse injector, you got to tell them if you're taking CBD, you need to let them know. Because if you're going to get, for example, Botox or you get your lips done, CBD is not something you want to be taking before your appointment. I tell my patients, hey, if you're going to go get something like that done, 
give your CBD oil or whatever it is that you're taking, give it a break for a bit because the CBD is going to act like a blood thinner. You're going to bruise more for cosmetic procedures and you're going to bleed more. So you want to avoid taking it before any kind of cosmetic procedure, no matter how minimally invasive this is. And this also goes for some of my esthetician friends who are out there that do aesthetics, but they do these facials that are a little bit more intensive. They have their, maybe their medical aesthetics or their masters in aesthetics. And they're doing these facials that are very intensive, especially the ones that are doing the PRP facials and all of that. You need to be telling your patients to not be consuming their CBD specific products prior, give them 24 hours, give them a break for 24 hours or 12 hours. Just say don't take it the day of and maybe skip the day before just to be sure. I understand that the half-life is different from for everybody in regards to how long the, the body does keep it in the system, but you don't wanna be taking any chances. So I always avoid it, I'll take it maybe, you know, uh, if I'm having an afternoon appointment, I might take it the day before in the afternoon, but then not take it again until after my appointment. And I'll wait a couple of hours after my appointment, maybe in the evening, or maybe I'll skip that day too, all depending on where I am in my cycle. That's a whole other ball game. And it's very important that these people are asking the questions. And if they're not asking you, then you need to take it upon yourself as your own advocate and say, hey, FYI, I do use cannabis products. I had somebody recently say to me that um, they didn't cater to that kind of that type of clientele. And my first thought on that was that's a pretty ignorant statement to make. And I've also heard that from people who are specialists in the medical world, um, cosmetic specialists, you know, breast augmentations, nose jobs. I've heard it from that side and I've heard it from specialists, uh, a gastroenterologist that I was speaking with sort of said that same comment and I was like you don't get to pick your clientele or your patient base you have who you get referred to you so that makes zero sense to me whatsoever but they I guess were of the mindset that they don't deal with um, drug addicts and I kind of went are you really and truly that misinformed that you don't understand who's out there using Kettos products. All right, so I'm already way over time on my video here. It was a, a bit of a rant. It's been weighing on me for a bit now for a couple of weeks, and the more and more exposure I get to people making these comments, the more kind of ticked off I get at the industry where I see people, you know, making comments like, oh, you know, it's not a big deal. It's only, it's only CBD. You do need to put it down. It is very important that you let your healthcare providers know what you are taking, whether it's medication, supplement, pain med. They need to know. If you're taking a lot of Advil, they need to know. If you're taking CBD, they need to know. If you're somebody that pops Tylenol like candy, they do need to know. This is important. It's relevant to your care. And as a practitioner or a clinician out there, whatever you're doing with patients, if you don't have this on your intake form, you're lacking. You're doing a disservice. And if you believe that you're patient base or your clientele are not partaking in cannabis, you need to get your fucking head out of your ass. That's all I got to say about that. So enjoy your cannabis products, people. I will enjoy mine and I'll see you later.